Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. He's a really happy man Everybody knows His bright red van All his friends will smile As he waves to greet them Maybe You can never be sure They'll be not Ring letters through your door <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat Postman Pat and his black and white cat All the birds are singing The day is just beginning Pat feels he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man Pat feels he's a really happy man a couple of letters for you today, Pat. One for the cafe and the other for the Reverend. <laughs> they shouldn't take us long, Mrs Goggins. Come on, Jess. <coughs> Off we go, Jess. See you later, Mrs Goggins. Bye, Pat. Hello, Nisha. Here's your post. Oh, good morning, Pat. Ooh, are those cheese and watercress sandwiches my favourite? Ooh! Yes, but they're not for now. They have a lunchtime. Oh, thank you, Pat. I just don't have enough cupboards in this kitchen to put all these plates away. Hmm. We'd better deliver this letter to the Reverend. We shouldn't be long. Bye then, love. Cheerio. Sounds like the Reverend's having a bit of a practice, Jess. Meow. Morning, Reverend. Oh, good morning, Pat. I was just having a bit of a spring clean. <laughs> so I see. I came across my old violin. It's been a while since I played it, I can tell you. But it's still in tune. Meow. 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 Would you like a hand with this lot, Reverend? Bless you, Pat. There, that's the to-go pile. And that's the to-keep pile. And these spare chairs can go into the vestry. Good idea. I wonder if... Hmm, there's plenty of storage space in there. Would you like it, Pat? Well, Nisha might. She's got nowhere to store the plates in the cafe. I'd be delighted to give it a new home. If we move it outside the vestry door, I can take it over there later. Right you are, Pat. Good morning, Pat. Morning, Dr. Gilbertson. We're just having a bit of a spring clean. It looks very impressive. I was just on my way to a doctor's meeting in Pencaster, so I thought I'd drop this off for you, Reverend. Oh, how very kind. You're welcome. Good luck with the spring cleaning. Thank you, Doctor. Bye. Meow. <coughs> If we put it here, then we can put the other one round there. Oh, no! The door! It's locked! Oh, dear! 
Lucky I always keep the keys handy. Thank goodness for that. We'll be out of here in a jiffy. Now, let me see. Uh, oh, dear, they're not here. They're on the cupboard. You put them there when we moved it outside. So I did. Good idea, Jess. We'll call for help. Hello? Help! Help! Hello? Can anyone hear us? Help! Anyone there? Help! Help! Hello? Can anyone hear us? Help. Hello? Hello? Help! Help! Hello? Can anyone hear us? It's no good. There's no one there. I know, Pat. My musical instruments. If we play them really loudly, someone might hear us. Well, it's worth a try. Maybe a guitar would be a little easier. Listen, I think it's Cedric. It might be. Cedric does love music. That's it. We can play the music to get Cedric to the window. Then he can take a message to Alf, and we're rescued. Quick, Reverend, keep playing. What? Well, uh, uh, oh, right. Uh, Well done, Reverend. It worked. Cedric, are we pleased to see you? Go home, Cedric. Go home to Alf. All we can do now is wait. Cedric, what's that you've got? Oh, no. Pat and the Reverend are stuck. We'd better get help quick, Cedric. I am setting off now, Ajay. Uh, get everyone together and I'll meet you at the church. OK, Alf. Will do. Pat and the Reverend are stuck in the church. They need help. I'm on my way. Oh, dear. Now, don't you worry, Sarah. We'll get them out. Come on, Ajay. I hope Alf gets here soon. I'm starving. I know. I've got some fresh biscuits that Mrs Goggins baked. Oh, that sounds perfect. Oh, no. The biscuits are in the church. On the other side of the door. Oh, no. Meow. Reverend! Reverend! Reverend, are you there? They're not here. The message definitely said they were stuck in the church. Hello? We're in here. Quick, over here. Pat, is that you? We're locked in the vestry. It sounds like Ted. The keys are on the cupboard, Ted. Just outside. Right, old Pat. We can't see him, Pat. That's odd. I remember seeing them well. when we were talking to Dr well. Gilbertson. Dr Gilbertson wouldn't take the keys on purpose. But she could have taken them by accident. I've just seen Dr Gilbertson going to Pencaster. Right, let's make a search party to find Dr Gilbertson. There's three possible routes to Pencaster, so I think we should split up and look for her. All right. right. You are. We won't be long, Reverend. Bad. Oh, dear. I hope 
they get back soon. Meow. What's up, Jess? Is there something under there? Meow. Look! A trap door! Well, I never knew that was there. Maybe we can escape after all. Come on, Reverend. Ooh, it looks a bit dark. I think I saw a torch earlier. Ah, here it is. And it works. Now then, how can we keep the trap door open in case we need to get back? How about the drum? That should hold it. Excellent. Come on, Reverend. Let's see what's down there. Meow. Heavens, what's that noise? Run! Run! <coughs> Quick, in here! <coughs> that was close. It most certainly was. Look, a staircase. And that looks like daylight at the top. My word, what an adventure. You look a bit shaken, Reverend. Why don't we go to the cafe for a bite to eat and a cup of tea? Oh, what a good idea. We can drop off the cupboard at the same time. Splendid! Earth is wrong, Arthur. It's the keys to the church vestry, Doctor. Pat and the Reverend are stuck in there and we can't get them out without the keys. It would appear you might have them. Me? No. Have I? Oh, well, I never. Here they are. Thank you, Doctor. See you later. OK, men. This way. We'll soon have you out of there, Pat. They've gone. Just disappeared. But how did they get out? It's very mysterious, if you ask me. The cupboard. It's gone. So it does. Hmm. I wonder. Tell you what, Arthur, why don't we go to the cafe and have a cup of tea and then we can decide what to do next. Good idea. Agreed. Let's go. Here you are, Pat. Your cheese and watercress sandwich. Oh, thanks, love. I've been looking forward to this all day. Pat! You're here! Well, I never. How do you get out? And how did the cupboard get here? I don't understand this. Jess found a trap door that led to a secret passage. What a clever cat. Where is he? I thought I heard purring in the cupboard. Out you come, Jess. <coughs> I think we've had enough of getting stuck for one day. <laughs> Hey, look at the time. Isn't Julian going to be late for school? No, don't worry, Pat. Jeff Pringle's giving them a half day. Oh? Why is that, then? Ted Glenn is re-varnishing the classroom floor this morning. Oh, right. Oh, Jess! <sighs> look what Jess has done to my computer mouse. It's ruined! Oh, dear. You're not supposed to chase that sort of mouse, Jess. 
I'm sure Ted Glenn could fix it. Yes, but not in time to learn stuff for my class talk today. Class talk? Yes. I have to stand up in front of the whole class and talk about people's jobs. Oh, I see. Well, I could tell you about being a postman. I need to know about lots of jobs. I've got it. Why don't you come with me on my rounds this morning? I deliver to lots of different people. You can learn all about their jobs. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Dad. That'll be brilliant. Oh, and Pat, don't forget Julian has to be at school this afternoon. I won't. Let's go, Dad. Come on, Jess. Meow. 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 Left a bit. Bit, bit to the left, Jeff. Steady as she goes. And down. Ouch! Ouch! Ooh! Ouch! Ah. Practicing your hopscotch, Jeff. Ooh. Not exactly, Pat. We're clearing the classroom ready for Ted to varnish the floor. Aye. <laughs> well, good luck. Don't forget your class talk at 12 o'clock, Julian. I won't, Mr Pringle. Cheerio. Right, then. Let's get cracking with the varnish. Are you sure you'll get it done in time, Ted? <laughs> Have no fear, Ted Glenn is here. Good luck with your talk, Julian. Thanks, Mrs Goggins. Right, Julian. First delivery is for Reverend Timms. You can ask him about his job. Great! In you get, Jess. <laughs> Bless you, and may you grow in peace. Morning, Reverend Timms. Oh, good morning, Pat. Good morning, Julian. Meow. <laughs> and you, Jess. Letter for you, Reverend. Ooh, thank you. Doing a spot of gardening, I see. Oh, yes. All part of my duties. Really? And what else? What else? What else do you have to do for your job? Oh, I see. Uh, let me think. Well, um... Well, next this morning, I have to test the church bells to make sure they're tip-top for Sunday. Wow! Yeah. Ringing the bell sounds good. This rope leads up to the bells, and I give it a good tug to ring them. Like this. Would you like to try? Yes, please. Give it a big tug, Julian. Whoa! Whee! Whee! Look out, Jess! <laughs> Ooh! Ah! <laughs> oh, careful, Jess! Oh, watch it! Oh! <laughs> Better than the fun fair. Thanks, Reverend Timms. Oh, it was nothing. It's all in a day's work for me. <laughs> I think we'd better get a move on, Julian. I've got lots more letters to deliver. And I've got lots more jobs to find out about. Cheerio. Come back any time. How's it going, Ted? Champion. Is that all you've done so far? It's hard work, is this? I'm sure it is. But can't it be a bit quicker? Well... The children are coming at 12. You'll never finish in time at this rate, Ted. Hmm. Uh, let's see now. I know. Have you got an old broom, Jeff? Uh, yes. There's one here. But why? 
and I'll need some string and a couple more brushes. Won't be a tick. Wait, just look at the time. Nearly 11 o'clock already. Who are we delivering to next, Dad? Ajay at the train station. Oh, great! Maybe I can learn about being a train driver. <laughs> Maybe. Hold it! What's the trouble? Oh, hello, Pat. Road's flooded up ahead. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to make a detour. Oh, dear. We're in a hurry. Sorry. Only doing my job. Job? Brilliant! It's no use blaming me. I'm... Uh... Did you say brilliant? Yes! Tell me all about your job, please, PC Selby. I want to know what a policeman does. Eh? It's important. Is it? I mean, uh, yes, it is. Yes, it's very important work. I'm glad someone appreciates the fact. Well? So, what do you do? Well, um, I have to look for lost cats. Yeah. And I, uh, I have to direct the traffic like this. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> and what's this arrow thing for? Here, careful with that. That's police property, that is. When I have to divert the traffic, the arrow points it in the right direction. Now, which direction was it? Uh, oh yes. No, that doesn't look right. Must be this way. Or was it this way? Let me think now. Come on, Julian, we'd better be off. I'm not sure whether it's... Uh, let me see now. Can't be that way, so is it this way or... Is it, uh... Champion. Terrific, Ted. That should be much quicker. Uh, I'll have this floor finished in no time now. I'm ready for when the children arrive at 12 o'clock. Right, let's get stuck in. Grand. Oh, heck. I've gone and varnished myself into the corner. I can't walk on it. It's still wet. Ah, oh, wait a tick. <laughs> Clever thinking, Ted. Now I can finish this last corner. I'll just have a lie down while I wait for it to dry. <sighs> Here we are, Julian. The train station. Let's find Ajay. Can you see the train? <coughs> Hi, Julian. Hi, Mira. <coughs> Is your dad around? He's over there. Come on, I'll take you. Morning, Pat. Hello, Nisha. Here's your post. Oh, thanks. I'll look at it when I've opened the cafe. <laughs> <laughs> Nikhil likes you, Jess. So, you want to learn about being a train diver, do you? Yes, for my class talk. Show Julian inside the train, Dad. All right. Hop up, lad. Really? Wow! Right, Julian. First, we have to stoke up the engine. And when she's built up a good head of steam, you toot the whistle here. Right, try it. <laughs> All aboard! That's grand, Pat. Now, Julian, help me pull this lever here. Can I? Oh, thanks! I drove the train! I drove the train! 
Well done. You'll have plenty to tell the class at school. Uh -huh. Talking of which, I think it's time you were going. OK, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Adjay. See you at school, Mira. Bye. Good luck. See you later. Phew. Just finished in time. Look at this floor. Oh, that's oh, really good. Good. Yeah. Sit down, everybody. <laughs> well, as you can see, we have a lovely new shiny classroom floor, thanks to Ted. <gasps> wow! It's really nice, isn't it? Now it's Julian's turn to give a class talk. Come to the front, Julian. <coughs> Julian is going to tell us all he's learned about the different jobs that people do. <coughs> well, today I found out that there are lots of different jobs that need doing in Greendale. Some people make the gardens look nice and make sure the big bells ring at the right time. Some people make sure we go in the right direction and don't get into trouble. Some people help us to travel to other places, like Pencaster. And some people, like my dad, make sure everyone gets their letters delivered and get to school on time. And that's what I learnt about jobs. Hooray! <laughs> well done, Julian. You made a very good job of jobs. <laughs> So I think that deserves a special gold star. <laughs> well done, Julian. <laughs> Looks like Ted's been working hard at his job, too. <laughs> Oh, my egg. <laughs> oh, that's the lot, Pat. Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. Wake up, Jess. Time for work. Oh, he's a sleepy boy this morning. Off we go, Jess. See you later, Mrs. Goggins. Bye, Pat. <laughs> it's the school choir, Jess. Morning, Pat. Morning, Dr. Gilbertson. The children are in good voice today. Pity the Pottage twins won't be there to join in. For Katie and Tom poorly, then. They've both got a nasty bout of chicken pox. Poor things. Let's hope nobody else gets it. Morning, everybody. I could hear your choir singing from down in the village, Mr Pringle. Thanks, Pat. They've all been working very hard, learning our new song. <gasps> Mr Pringle, Mr Pringle! Lucy's covered in spots! Uh, spots? <gasps> Mr Pringle, Mr Pringle! So is Bill Thompson! Huh? It looks like a case of Black River favour to me. <gasps> Of course it's not Black River Fever, Sarah. It's probably chicken pox. Dr Gilbertson just told me that Tom and Katie Pottage have got it. Chicken pox is highly contagious. I think I should send the children home immediately. Hooray! I'll phone your parents and tell them to collect you right away. Hooray!
Morning, Mrs Goggins. Morning, Pat. Oh, thank goodness you haven't caught chicken pox. It's all over the village. Really? Oh, aye. The poor vicar's got it, and Jeff, and Charlie Pringle, and so has little Lucy Selby. Yes, Julian's come down with it now. He was pretty miserable when I left this morning. He said his chicken pox spots were itchy. Oh, that reminds me. Ajay's just phoned to say that the calamine lotion has arrived from Pencaster. Could you pick it up and drop it off at Dr Gilbertson's, please? Certainly, Mrs Goggins. It's very good for itchy spots. <laughs> Everybody in Greendale will be wanting a bottle. Come on, Jess. Looks like we've got lots to do today. <laughs> Oh, there you go, Pat. That'll be the last of the calamine lotion. Thanks, Ajay. Could you let Dr Gilbertson know that mare has got chicken pox? <laughs> Are her spots itchy too? Yes, and she's got a bad cold. Tell her we said get well soon. Meow. I will. Bye, Pat. Meow. Bye, Jess. Bye, Ajay. Meow. Oh, dear, Sarah. You've got it as well. Morning, Pat. Yes, she woke up this morning covered in spots. <sighs> Poor you. Here's the calamine lotion you ordered, Dr Gilbertson. Oh, thanks, Pat. I should deliver them right away, but I really need to keep an eye on Sarah. Would you mind dropping them off for me? No problem, Doctor. Ah, the vicar will need a bottle, and Jeff Pringle and Charlie. Oh, and Bill Thompson, too. And Mira. Ajay says she's very itchy. Oh, dear. Yes, she'd better have one. Could you also take a packet of salt to the vicar for me? No problem. The vicar's my next call. Why does the vicar want salt? To gargle with. Gargle? With salt? You mix it with water. It's very good for sore throats. Can you gargle, Sarah? I'm a brilliant gargler. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me. But you have to be careful not to swallow it or you'll be sick. That's enough, Sarah. Thanks, Pat. Tell everybody to rub calabine lotion onto their spots and gargle with salt water if they've got a sore throat. <laughs> I'll be sure to pass on your good advice, Dr Sarah. There's the vicar's letter and a parcel and a bottle of calamine lotion from the doctor. Meow. What is it, Jess? Ah, the salt. <laughs> Clever lad. Thank you very much. Morning, Reverend. How are you feeling? <coughs> Terrible, Pat. Well, these should help you. Calamine lotion and salt from the doctor. God bless her. How kind. <coughs> Can't stop, Reverend. I've got to call in and see Jeff and Charlie Pringle. They're poorly, too. Oh, Pat. <coughs> Would you give them something from me? Uh, certainly, Reverend. A gardening magazine for Jeff and a comic to cheer up little Charlie. <laughs> oh, and I have a message from Sarah Gilbertson. Don't forget to gargle. I won't, Pat. <coughs> <coughs> That's from the doctor. And the Reverend sent this. Oh. How to grow sweet peas? Ooh. Whoops. <laughs> I've got it wrong. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Zap Zero, my hero. That's more like it. Jess has got a much better memory than me. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, you two. Drink lots of water, and Sarah Gilbertson says, don't forget to gargle. How 
are you feeling, Bill? Bored. I want to play football. Oh, you won't be doing that for a few more days, love. Thanks for the calamine lotion, Pat. We really need it. I've got one more bottle to drop off at Mira's. Oh, could you give Nisha something from me, please? Of course, Dorothy. It's a hot water bottle to keep Mira warm while she's got a cold. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Jess. It's not real. <laughs> oh, by the way, Bill, Sarah Gilbertson says don't forget to gargle. That's just what the... Jess! Oh, thanks for reminding me, Jess. I nearly forgot. Dorothy Thompson sent this to keep you warm, Mira. Thank you, Pat. You're very welcome. <sighs> You look worn out. It's been a very busy day. <coughs> and I've got a bit of a sore throat. You should go home and gargle, Pat. That's exactly what Sarah Gilbertson says. Don't forget to gargle. <laughs> Soon be home now, Jess. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Sounds like they've all taken Sarah Gilbertson's good advice. <coughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, Julian. How are you feeling? Much better. I'm glad to hear it. <sighs> oh, my goodness, Pat. You've got chicken pox. Dad, Mrs. Goggins said you've got to drink lots of her black currant cordial and rub calamine lotion onto your itchy spots. Thank you. You're a very good doctor. Come on, Julian, you mustn't be late for school. You looking forward to seeing all your friends again? Oh, yeah. Bye, Dad. See you later, love. Bye. Hello, Julian. Are you all better? I'm fine, but now my dad's got chicken pox. He's really fed up. Poor Pat. He worked so hard taking care of us all while we were ill. He brought me a comic. And he bought me a hot water bottle. And he bought me a bottle of cum... 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 lotion. He made us all feel better. But Mr Prinkle, Mr Prinkle, I know. Why don't we do something for Pat? Yeah! yeah! Oh, dear Jess. It's a bit lonely here on our own. <laughs> what on earth?
Good morning, Pat. Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Oh, look, Pat. This parcel's addressed to you. Oh, good. It's arrived. What is it? It's the brand new video camera I've been waiting for. Oh! <laughs> wow. I wonder how it works. These instructions might help. Pardon? Oh, oh, oh yes. Hmm. Come on, Mrs. Goggins. Smile for the camera. Oh! oh no, Pat. <laughs> you don't want to film silly old me. <clears throat> I know. Why don't you make a video diary of Greendale? What a good idea. Maybe I could show the film at the school hall. Oh, yes. I'm sure people would love to come. Great. I can film it on my rounds. I've got a busy day ahead of me, so I'd best be getting on. Come on, Jess. Cheerio, Mrs. Goggins. Cheerio, Pat. Oh, wait. Oh. Haven't you forgotten something? Oh, of course. Thanks, Mrs. Goggins. Cheerio. Now then, how do I switch this thing off? Good morning, Pat. Uh, oh, uh, oh, oh, morning, Dr. Gilbertson. Good morning, Mrs. Goggins. Oh, oh, I, I didn't see you there. Um, I've just seen Pat with a video camera. What's he doing? He's making a video diary of Greendale to show at the school hall. <sighs> you know, when I was a lassie, I always fancied being in the movies. Really? Uh huh. In one of those musicals. Aye. I was quite a dancer in those days, you know. Do you like dancing, Dr. Gilbertson? Oh, no, not me. I haven't got time for all that dancing around. And who would I dance with? Aye. I wonder if the Reverend Timms would like to be in my video. Hmm. Do you think this light means the camera is on or off, Jess? Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, never mind. I'll sort it out later. Ooh, a spot of music. That's just what my video needs. Hello, Reverend. Would you mind if I recorded you for my video diary of Greendale? Not at all, Pat. I I'd be honoured. <laughs> And camera rolling, Reverend Tim's take one. Eyes and teeth, Reverend. Eyes and teeth. Uh, pardon? Oh, uh, <laughs> smile, please, Reverend. Oh, I see. <laughs> Aren't you delivering the post today, Pat? Oh, oh, of course, the post. Sorry, Reverend. I was so carried away with my video, I forgot all about it. <laughs> um. <sighs> ah, here we are. Here you are, Reverend. <sighs> Thank you, Pat. Uh, are you all right? Um, yes, I'm fine. Uh, it's hard work playing the piano. Well, you'd better have a rest if you're going to make it to my video show down at the school hall. Oh, oh, yes. Thank you, Pat. Cheerio, Reverend. Goodbye, Pat. Ooh, I'll have to put this down for a minute. Mm -hmm. 
Dum rum dum 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 dum. Oh no! I've posted the instruction manual too. I can't finish my video diary without that. Hello, Dr. Gilbertson. Is there anyone in? Oh, oh, hello, Pat. Sorry to bother you, Dr. Gilbertson, but I posted the instruction manual for my video camera by mistake. Oh, um, there you go, Pat. Thank you. Would Would you like to be in my video, Dr. Gilbertson? Uh, no. Sorry, Pat. I I'm I'm very busy today. I was um um I was just giving the surgery a quick clean. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry I disturbed you. Cheerio. Goodbye, Pat. Hello there, Pat. Is that a video camera? Yes, I, I'm recording a video diary of Greendale. Help. Would you like to be in it? Oh, yes. And we've got the Greendale rocket all nice and clean. You'll want her on your video, won't you? Yes, what a good idea. How does that thing work? That's what I've been trying to find out. There. That should do it. Um, is it recording? Yes. Make sure you get the rocket's best side, Pat. Here, can I have a go? Um, yes. Hey, oh. I say, wait, watch out, Ted. Oops, oh, sorry, Pat. I'll help you pick them up. Oh, dear. Quick, Jess, catch that letter. <laughs> What on earth has happened to you two? Nothing. Not at all. Uh, were you filming just then? No. But I can film you some more if you'd like. Uh, no thanks, Pat. Yeah, we're, we're a bit mucky. Oh, well, OK, then. Cheerio. Cheerio, Bye, Pat. Pat. Oh, dear, Jess. Nobody wants me to film them. My video diary of Greendale isn't going to be very long, is it? Hello, Sarah. Hello, love. Hello, Nisha. Morning, Pat. Cup of tea, please. Oh, uh, and one of those lovely cream cakes. Coming right up. Oh, I see the camera arrived. Yes. Oh, what's wrong? Well, I'm trying to record a video diary of Greendale, but hardly anyone wants to be in it. People are acting very strangely today. Really? There you go, Pat. Thank you. You can film us if you like. Yes, you can record us icing these cakes. What a good idea. OK. And action. Um, what does that mean? That means you can start icing now. Oh. Oh, I see. Why don't you tell me how you do it? Oh, uh, <clears throat> When you ice a cake, you need to be very careful. And uh, make sure you take your time. What should I say now? I don't know. <coughs> Jess, that was my cake. I'd better clean that up. Oh, oh. oh dear. Oh, no. oh. 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 What's happened here? Uh, nothing, nothing. But where did the cakes go? The, the fridge. Cupboard. The, the cupboard. fridge. What a strange day this is, eh, Jess? Meow. Oh, well, I'd better be going. I'll see you both tonight at the video show. Bye, Bye Pat. love. So, um... Who's in the film, then? Well, I was the first person Pat filmed. And I've provided the music, of course. <clears throat> Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to see my video diary of Greendale. I haven't had a chance to watch it back myself, 
but I hope you all enjoy it. Oh, oh, look! <laughs> That's me up there! I don't remember that bit. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> oh, my goodness! <laughs> oh, dear. I'm terribly sorry, Reverend. Wow, you rock, Reverend. Oh, oh, oh really? <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Where on earth is that? I certainly don't remember filming this. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Gilbertson. Uh, I must have forgotten to switch the camera off. Wow, Bob! I didn't know you could dance. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> So that's what happened. <laughs> You're so funny, Dad. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Oh, oh, dear. oh, no. oh. 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 oh no, how embarrassing. Oh dear. I am sorry, love. <laughs> I suppose we do look pretty funny. <laughs> yes, we do, don't we? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, everyone. This isn't quite what I expected. <laughs> no, it's better. <laughs> sorry? That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Hear, hear. <laughs> Who would have thought we all had such <laughs> hidden talent? Oh, dear. <laughs> Next stop, Hollywood. <laughs> You mean you liked it? Yes, Dad. You're the best director ever. Mrs. Goggins. These can't all be for Greendale. Aye, Pat, you're right. There's been a mix-up in Pencaster. They've sent over all their post, muddled up with ours. Oh, dear. I've managed to sort a few out for you to be going on with. These are for the cafe. Right you are. I'll get these delivered, then I'll come back and give you a hand. Thanks, Pat. Oh, I don't know how we're going to get these sorted in time. Don't worry, Mrs. Goggins. We'll find a way. <gasps> UFOs? Yes. Unidentified flying objects from outer space. Flying saucers? Yes. Aliens use them to fly around in. And I want to be the first person in Greendale to photograph one. Like Captain Zap catching aliens. Yeah! We could find a Martian. Discover a great green wild enormous... Oof! Tree! Ow! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come on, let's get started. Hello, Nisha. Hello, Ted. Thanks, Pat. What's this? Morning, Pat. It's my latest invention, is this? A washer-sorter machine. Oh! 
It's a revolution in technology. To set in sea, sort and wash. But they're still dirty, Dad. Oh, uh, right. Must be a blockage in the water feed. Nicely sorted, though, eh? Hmm. Good job something's getting sorted today. What's the matter, Pat? The Pencaster office have mixed up the post. Poor Mrs Goggins is trying to sort it all out. Oh, dear. Uh, I'm on my way to the post office now to get some stamps. I can give her a hand. And by the time you're back, this place will be spotless. <coughs> Thanks, Ted. Uh, just the plastic dishes in the machine, though. right -o. See you later, Nisha. Bye, Ted. Hang on, Pat. I just need a hand with me water feed before you go. Well, uh, I ought to be getting back. It won't take long. Put that in the top of the machine, could you? <coughs> By heck, I forgot to turn the tap on. <coughs> Nothing's coming out this end, Ted. Any good now? Hmm. <coughs> Must be someone blocking it. <coughs> Let's have a look. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. oh, goodness me. We've got to keep our eyes open for anything strange. I don't think there's anything. Look! Wow. What's that? A diamond-shaped space cruiser. Just like Captain Zaps. Wow! Wow! What? <laughs> Maybe there'll be aliens in the space cruiser. I bet they'll be controlling it. I don't think aliens are controlling it. Uh... <laughs> Unless Lucy's an alien. <laughs> Lucy. Oh. That should do it. Thanks, Pat. Right you are, Ted. Come on, Jess. Meow. Aren't you good to stay and see it in action? Space Age technology is this. Sorry, Ted. we got to get back to Mrs Goggins. OK, I'll have these plates all done in no time. Cheerio. Meow. Hello. What are you three up to? Meow. Hello, Dad. We're looking for UFOs. UFOs? <laughs> in Greendale? Unidentified flying objects. UFO Gazette says they can be anywhere, anytime. We want to get a picture of one, if we can. The only unidentified object I know about are in the post office waiting to be sorted. Are you coming, Jess? <coughs> Joining in the UFO hunt, are you? <coughs> <laughs> well, watch out for aliens. Bye. <coughs> Bye, Bye. Bye. <laughs> UFOs in Greendale. <laughs> Whatever next. <coughs> There you are, Pat. We've managed to sort a few more letters for you. Thanks to Nisha. One for Reverend Timms and one for Ted Glenn. Thanks, Nisha. Sorry to have been so long. I was giving Ted a hand with his washer sorter. How is he getting on? Don't worry. He'll have your dishes spotless with that machine of his. <gasps> that should do. Now, just put the soap in... Oops! Oh well, plates will be nice and clean with all that soap on them. Right, no UFO sightings in the church. And nothing outside PC Selby's house. Aliens could be anywhere. There might be a three-headed Martian. Or an alien from Beetlejuice. 
Or a... Um... Oh, an alien cat man. <gasps> Quick, take a picture. <sighs> Jess! The alien cat. <laughs> We're not doing very well, are we? Where haven't we looked yet? Um, the station. Come on, then. Let's go. Here you are, Reverend. Can't stop, I'm afraid. Thank you, Pat. Go in peace. Hmm. Must have put in too much soap. Now, let me see. Hey, no need for that. Ow! My egg! Meow, meow. What's that? Meow, meow. Unidentified noises! Meow, meow. It's coming from the cafe. By gum. Better do summit. Nisha won't be pleased. Funny feeling about this. Do you speak our language? Yes. <gasps> we come in peace. Over here, everyone. Oh, oh what's this? It's a. Uh... Space pod. An alien bubble man. Alien dead Glen, more like. Ted? I had a spot of bother with me soap mixture. Oh no. Mr. Glen? Oh, what a mess. Oh, we. we saw a, a flying saucer. So did I. They're all over the place. Ah. It was the washer sorter machine. The wash. Oh no. I'm right sorry, Nisha. Don't worry, Ted. I'll soon wash the dishes. It's a shame, though. Aye. It worked fine before I put the water in. That machine could sort anything. Oh, I wish it could sort the post. I'm afraid I left Mrs. Goggins with lots left to do. Hmm, that's an idea. Yes. Come on, Ted. Dry that machine out. We've got work to do. So have I. Flying saucers everywhere. We can help. We're experts at hunting flying saucers, aren't we? Oh, that'll be wonderful. I'll be back soon, Julian. <laughs> See you, Nisha. Do you think it can take it, Pat? Don't worry, Mrs. Goggins. Ready, Ted? In the go, Pat. <laughs> Ta da! It worked! <laughs> I said it would sort anything. Oh, 
done, Mrs Goggins. That's terrific. We couldn't have done it without you, Ted. Come on, Ted. Let's see how they're getting on at the cafe. Oh, well done, everyone. You might not have found any UFOs, but you have found all Nisha's plates. Looks like there aren't any flying saucers in Greendale after all. Oh, yes, there are. As a thank you for clearing up all the plates, I've made a special Greendale flying saucer cake. Huh? Just for you. Ah, oh, thanks, Mum. Congratulations, Charlie. You're the first person in Greendale to take a picture of a flying saucer after all. <laughs> 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 <laughs>